Well, they're the people leading the schools your children attend every day, and they're paid with your tax dollars. Natalie Tendall with Tunis Investigates asks how well our area superintendents are doing and reviews the contracts that keep them in charge. Well, we found some superintendents in our area are making more than the governor. But our investigation is looking beyond the salaries and benefits and digging deeper into the performance and achievements of the districts they serve. A car, hundreds of dollars in monthly allowances, tuition reimbursement, and more than a month of vacation. These are some of the benefits superintendents in our area are getting. Two News Investigates look through 12 area superintendent contracts, and while most of them look similar, one stood out. Do you think that this contract will help improve Dayton City Schools? Oh, absolutely. When the Dayton City School Board hired its most recent superintendent, Rhonda Kaur, they went about it in a different way. We saw deficiencies of former contracts. We found core salary is well below the 2015 average for a district the size of Dayton at $140,000 a year. But if the schools do well, she could be one of the highest paid in the area. But the bonus is if you're able to hit them, especially all of them at once in one year, then that really puts you over the top. CORE's contract has four areas where she can earn bonuses, more than $20,000 altogether. And she's already met one of them. Dayton is now off of the Academic Distress Commission list. According to her contract, that means CORE gets a $7,500 bonus. That is in the best interest of the taxpayers because if the school district is improving, which we clearly are, then all oh, the property values are rising and then there are more job opportunities. Even though Dayton's latest report card issued by the state gave them F's in five areas, they earned an A in the area of progress that looks at the growth all students are making. We will pay bonuses all day long as well as you keep on bringing us A's. Two News Investigates found Beaver Creek is the only other contract that mentioned a performance payment with its superintendent, Paul Auden, but it does not lay out specific terms. According to its latest state report card, they also got an A in progress and a B in achievement. The only other district we found to have both A's and B's in those categories is Oakwood. Both Beaver Creek and Oakwood superintendents are also the highest paid in the area, each at about $161,000 a year. But there are some districts in our area whose grades were low in the areas of progress and achievement. Trotwood schools received F's in each area. Now, both the Trotwood board president and superintendent refused to answer my questions about those grades on camera. But Superintendent Bell did tell me in a written statement that his students are so much more than those grades. Superintendent Kevin Bell tells us they're in the process of getting those grades back up. He said they're working to get the community and parents more involved while using more resources and assessment systems to reach Ohio's learning standards. Xenia is the other district with low grades in these categories. An F in progress and a D in achievement. Mm -hmm. Were you surprised by the results? Yes, it was, it was disappointing and difficult for our staff because they're working so hard and, and, uh, and, and I felt bad for them. But, but at the same time, we are uh, putting things in place. Superintendent Denny Morrison tells us the state has been changing the way they grade schools, which is causing lower grades across the state. They've continued to raise the bar every single year, so we're trying to hit a moving target. He says they are making changes. Math has, has been our primary focus, and we have revised 6 through 12, our entire math curriculum. We knew where we were, was not getting the job done, so we've made a, con a complete brand new change. He says you have to be flexible when trying to keep a school moving forward. You don't measure the success or failure of a school district based upon one day's testing. Now you can see all the superintendent contracts we looked at on our website at WDTN.com. You can also find a breakdown of their district's latest state report card there, too. Natalie Tendall, 2 News, investigates.